Well, welcome everyone, it's Nicola here, and we've got about two minutes before my fringe goes awry again. I've had a good week after my haircut, but now it's all it's all on a downward slope again. <laughs> this happens to me every single month. So I thought I'd just share with you the seven things I've learned in 2022. I absolutely love these kind of posts myself. So I've tried to come up with some things that will surprise you. The first thing, I've discovered I have to be creating or I feel like I'm dying. I've had a couple of years where I haven't been doing anything to create content. I've been doing no blog posts, no videos, no podcast episodes, nothing. I took some time off because I was so emotionally battered by what was happening to us all and how unfair some of it was and how nonsensical most of it was and how I just couldn't cope with discovering that the world is not what we think it is. So I took a couple of years off because I couldn't even bear to talk about things like marketing and marketing your business and all that stuff. It just seemed so inconsequential. And it's funny because my sister Heather described this to me when she just released her first album and then two of her friends died back to back from cancer. And when she came out of that, in spite of having therapy on both occasions, she said she just couldn't do anything to market her album because she felt like everything was so inconsequential compared with what happened to her friends. And I know how she feels. It must be a form of grief, I think. So I did have to take some time off from creating. But what I discovered is that it made me feel worse, not better. Unless I'm actually creating something, unless I'm reaching out to people, unless I'm helping people, I feel like I'm just getting stagnant and and dying inside somehow. That's the first thing I've learned in 2022. At a slight tangent to that, I've learned that everything we learn about in school pretty much is a lie. I've learned that the way the world works is a lie, that all the historical events we know about, most of them were lies. I've learned that everything is a manipulation by a certain group of people to get their own ends and everything else is a lie. And you know what? I'm okay with that now. I was furious for a while, furious. But now I've just decided I'm going to roll with the punches. I'm going to decide that it's okay to have a front row seat at the end of the world or the end of the world as we know it. And that life will go on. There'll still be a river going up and down outside my flat when I'm long gone. And that's okay. I'll look for ways that I can make things better. But if I can't, then I'm just going to watch and wonder. The third thing I've learned a lot about in 2022 is inflation. And I suspect you're learning a lot more than you'd like to about it as well. I've always known that the way to create true wealth is to spend less than you earn, live more simply and invest the rest. But you've got to invest the rest in something that's growing faster than the rate of inflation. And the things that most people think of, like stocks and shares and pensions and property, they're not going to be the things going forward that grow faster than the rate of inflation. In fact, they're going to be going down over the next few months. This is what's called the wealth cycle. And Mike Maloney on YouTube has got a fantastic video that explains it really, really well. You've got to find the things that are going to go up faster than the rate of inflation. Otherwise, your money is just going to be going backwards in value, not even standing still. But the good news is there are things out there. If you if you learn about the wealth cycle, you can find out what they are and then you can invest in those so that you preserve the wealth of your hard earned savings. That's what I've been doing in 2022. I've also learned in 2022 that every time I get knocked over, I can get back up again, no matter what it is. It's resilience. And I don't know where it's come from, but I know that I've got it. I do get emotionally upset about things, but I can bounce back quickly. That's a good skill to cultivate. And I think it's about learning how to process your emotions. I've never taught, I was never taught that as a child. I was never even taught that you were allowed to have emotions or express them much less process them and then get over them. So that's what one of the things I've learned in 2022 is to roll with the emotion, to feel it, and then to wake up the next morning, pick myself up, dust myself off, and get on with whatever it was I was doing. I've got several tools that help me with that. So if you're interested in finding out how to become more resilient emotionally, then do let me know in the comments below, or you can email me at nicola at clicksandleads.com and I'll email them straight back to you. There's two or three things that I think really, really help. And I've been using those things relentlessly through 2022. One of the other things I've learned this year is how to take pleasure in the little things. I've moved into a flat on my own and it's the first time I've lived on my own since I was in Greece for a while. And I've learned how to take pleasure in the little things, how to take pleasure in a nice dinner, how to take pleasure in watching a good television program, how to take pleasure in the fact I've got a great book to read. As I've been growing up, 
all of those things would have seemed too small to take pleasure and they would have seemed inconsequential. They wouldn't have seemed, seemed worth thinking about. But I've discovered that they're the things that give you peace and they're the things that give you happiness in life as you get older. I've learned how to treat chores as a Zen exercise. I've always hated doing housework. In fact, I do have a cleaner and she's wonderful. She does all the bits that I can't do, all the bits I can't bring myself to do. But I've learned to take pleasure in little tasks like hanging out the washing, developed a routine. I've developed a system for how to do it. And I've actually started to quite enjoy it. Whereas before I would have just thought it was so boring and so dull and painful that I would have just avoided it and have it hanging and had it hanging over me all day, sitting in the washing machine, rotting. (laughs) So yeah, I've learned how to take a Zen pleasure in chores like that. But the main thing I've learned is that at the end of the day, Money notwithstanding, career notwithstanding, work notwithstanding, chores notwithstanding, pleasure notwithstanding, love is the only thing that counts. Being around people you love is the big one. Even when you may disagree with them or they disagree with you, which has happened in my family quite a lot over the last couple of years, being with people you love gives you a deep pleasure and a sense of belonging that can't be faked and it can't be beaten. And it doesn't matter who those people are. It doesn't matter if they're not family, if they're friends, if they're workmates, if they're people who've got the same hobbies as you. Try and enjoy the company of people you enjoy the company of and tell them. Tell them how much you enjoy their company. Tell them how much you love to see them. Tell them how much you love to spend time with them. It'll make an incredible difference to your day and it'll make a serious difference to theirs. And coming on to that topic, I just wanted to tell you how much I appreciate all of you. I appreciate the people who've gone with me on this ride, 30 videos in 30 days. But I just wanted to say, I really appreciate you. I appreciate every single one of you that has commented, liked and subscribed. And it's been quite astonishing the difference it's made doing one video a day for 30 days. I will be putting out videos over Christmas. They might be more philosophical rather than how-to, but I've got a couple of practical how-tos planned. So if there's anything you want to know how to do, do make sure you comment below because I'll be making those videos for you. See you soon.